Hey guys, I'm back for another Minecraft video, and this is the music disc machine. Now, what this is, is a relatively small sky trap that generates lots and lots of music discs. Now, I'm going to explain how this works in a little bit. I'm just lighting up the wiring over here so stuff doesn't spawn. And as you can hear, there are a lot of mobs built up in this thing. And the reason for that is that I have a toggle over here. Oh, let's kill this spider. So anyway, as I said, I have a little toggle for oops, <laughs> for that little gate up there. So when I pull this lever, boom, down come the mobs. <laughs> and all the zombies are drawn to the left side because I put a villager there. And, uh, the volume's way too high for the, uh, sorry about that. So all the zombies go to the left, and the skeletons and creepers stay in the middle. Now what I, what you have to do, is do game mode, oh, game mode zero. Now of course you'd be coming in here, survival, so you better be careful. And then, you ha either have a regen potion or eat one of these, and then just do this. Go from side to side. And, uh, you could have, uh, what's it called? Projectile protection enchantments and things like that. And then you just wait until almost everything's dead. Like now. So then you pull the lever again so nothing, uh, drops down on your head while you're collecting. And then you press this button. And then you wait a few seconds. And here we go. Boom. Now look at that. Look at all of those music discs. All in a matter of, what, two seconds? And as soon as you've done it, you can do it all over again. Just by pulling the lever. Boom. And then more mobs drop down. And then more of them get shot. And the more music discs you get. Now, the biggest issue with this machine is obviously getting hurt, and the creepers do not explode unless you jump, so do not jump right there, because then you'd get, uh, the creepers would explode. Um, yeah. So that's basically that. Now, um, here, let's just, uh, stop this from doing that. Game mode... One. There, now they're not going to shoot at me anymore. Now I just see what else we can scavenge from that. Oh yeah, I've also got quite a few music discs as well. Um, oh yeah, this is a new one. It's called Wait. Not quite sure why I got it, but... Yeah, lots and lots of... Oh. Oh. Oh god. One of the creepers blew up for some reason. Don't quite understand why. Well, yeah, in the event of an explosion, usually this half slab disappears here. Let's just turn the difficulty to peaceful. Um, either it destroys the half slab or it destroy. What did it destroy? Huh, what did it destroy? It didn't even break anything. Well, I was lucky with that one. The explosion didn't even do anything. It just destroyed the items. Oh, yeah, and I, I look like a porcupine with the, <laughs> the arrows. So anyway, basically what I did is just had a little obsidian building with some redstone wiring leading up to this little area right here. And as you can see, I plugged the hole using this wiring right here. I'm not going to do a tutorial for just the wiring. It's pretty simple. If you know your basic redstone, you could do this. And take note, you don't have to do it this way. You could just have it constantly dropping mobs down. You don't need a toggle for it. Um, yeah, so I have the toggle... I have water flow buttons, and dispensers are highly resilient, like, they've been through quite a lot of explosions and not died. So I have the villager over there to get the zombies out of the way. And that's basically how this little area works. Now, and I'm going to teach you how to build that top part right now, so enjoy the video. The first step in making this trap is that you're going to have to get probably around an inventory or two worth of building blocks i suggest cobblestone because it's extremely easy to get 
and just find any spot in the map basically and just do this until you reach the very top of the world Once you reach the block limit, you're going to want to build out, like this, 21 blocks in both directions. So count 1, 2, 3, and I'm just going to fly to make things easier. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21. Now let's just make sure it's right. Yep, that's right. Then we just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then you just turn it into a cube. Like this. And there we are. And then what you're going to want to do is go out three blocks. Like so, and then on the fourth block out, put another block, and then make another one of these 21 by 21 squares. And also, you're going to have to put another one right there. Oh god, I just lagged really badly. So, just like that. And then, another one right there. So, once you get all four of these squares, you should have a little square spot in the middle and I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll be right back alright now that you've built your squares you're going to want to repeat the same exact thing except eight blocks down so it's one two three four five six seven eight now when you're done with this you should have a giant square that's eight blocks tall and I think 21 42, 42 45 by 45 blocks now that you've done that what you have to do is fill in this little X section over here on the bottom not the top one because you're going to need the light to come in while you're building the rest of this thing because what I did in my tech it world when I first built this I built from the top down which is a really stupid way to make it and as a result I had no light for almost half of the uh, construction process so yeah, you just got to do this, and also, you have to go two blocks in like this, actually three blocks in like this, three blocks all the way around in this giant square. Now that you've done that, you're going to want to line the outer part over here, closest to the edge on the inside, with cobblestone, just so it's easier to see. And you're going to have to do this step anyway, one time or another. So might as well do it now while it's easier to uh, build. Alright, now that you've done that, you're going to want to come to one of the edges. It doesn't really matter which one. And count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then break two blocks. And just to make sure this is symmetrical, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight. Perfect. Now that you've done that, you just replicate the same thing over there. And then count another eight blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So now that you've done that, you're going to want to place four blocks and just go to the edge. And then put this ring around it. Alright. Now that you've done that, you're going to want to put another ring all the way around the perimeter now that you've put the ring around the entire perimeter and around all these little boxes what you're going to want to do is start in some random spot doesn't really matter where and then go up two blocks three blocks actually but for now just do two blocks um and build like this so just stand at the top of the like the edge here double click and it should place two blocks and then go all the way around again for the third block like this so you got to do this for the perimeters and for the inner boxes. 
Now that you've done that, you're going to have to fill in these little squares, like so, all the way until they turn out to look like spawning platforms, because that's kind of what they are. Now that you've done that, you're going to have to fill in the rest of the outer edge, but do not build up the inside parts. You only need to do the outer edge for this part. So just fill in these two block spaces over here, and then you're good. Alright, you're now done with the most annoying part of building this trap. Now, uh, we're going to be getting into the more complicated part. It's not as annoying just because of the simple fact that you don't need... Uh, to build so much but yes you're gonna need some water well lots of water if you're playing in survival you're gonna need buckets upon buckets and any type of stair doesn't matter and you're gonna need signs um actually buttons work too I think buttons will work in this situation actually no they won't you need signs I'm sorry you cannot use buttons because of these three wide spaces although you can use a button actually can you use a button hold on I'm doing some testing here nope you can't use a button alright so yes use only a sign for this now um, actually let's change the stairs to something uh, a bit more visible just so it's easier alright wooden stairs so get lots and lots and lots of wooden stairs and lots and lots and lots of signs so, first what you're going to want to do is put two stairs in any one of the edges of this uh, this X right here. Somewhere over there, any one of those spots. And then take a sign, put it down, and then put another sign on top of it. Or you can put it on the wall like this. doesn't really matter as long as there's a block with a sign on it. Um, <laughs> it's kind of an interesting concept. You guys are going to realize why I'm doing this in a few seconds. So now what you do is put some water there, 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 and there. And then you have this little weird spot right here that doesn't flow. Then just right click there. And then boom, you've got a water current that goes that way. And uh, you're going to repeat this process with all four of the corners. All right, now that you've done that, all four of these corners should have the little setup I showed you before. Oh, yeah. And one thing to note is that the stairs have to have the lower side facing away from the middle because the whole point of this setup is if there was water here I'm not touching the keyboard right now it pushes you up the stairs and then into the middle so make sure the stairs are facing the correct way and yeah so the next part is you put water buckets in the corners of these uh, of this thing so I'm gonna do that on camera because it's kind of an easy process since I'm flying but of course for you people in survival it's gonna be very annoying just make some like an unlimited water source somewhere around here um, yeah so now that you've done that you're gonna want to go to this point over here where the water has uh, still two blocks covered you go like this and this and then do another one of these sign setups and then put down some more water now do this for all sides for all four corners Alright, now that you're done with that, you're going to want to go to one of these little areas where the water just barely comes in, about three blocks, and then you go like this. Some more stairs, and then some signs, and then some water. So you're going to want to do this all, all of these, <laughs> every single one of them. And for the, uh, the middle ones, you're still going to want to have the stairs and signs in the same spot. So let's just make sure it's symmetrical. And I probably didn't do that right. Um, nope. Yeah, that stair is supposed to be right there. Alright, and for these middle sections, you just put a sign on top of a sign on top of a sign. And then you're good. And then just put your water. And there you go. So just do that for all, uh, what is it, six of these places. Now that you've done that, you're going to want to go back down to the places you just made. So you just built this. And then go over to the water, and then put your stairs right there, so that those two spaces that had water no longer have water. So then you just put down your stairs and signs, and then some more water, and if you did it right, the water should stop right at the edge. One thing I just noticed is apparently one of the sides works that way, but one of them doesn't. So as you can see right there, I kind of 
I did what I told myself to do, but it didn't work. So you're going to have to move it up just one more block for these uh, the other side that doesn't work. I think it's directional issues. I don't know. Um, I assure you this is symmetrical. The entire thing is symmetrical, but um, it's probably just a water flowing bug or something like that. So as I said, just do that. Actually, I'm not even going to make a cut because I'm almost done. So here, let's just go like that. Put down the signs back in the correct spot. Oops. And there we go. All right. Now that you've done that, you have something that looks like this. Now, what you're going to have to do <laughs> now, I keep saying now for some reason, you have to put stairs in these four spots, not the edges, not the middle, but the ones in between like this. And I know it's getting dark, which makes things a little difficult to see, but I'm just making this quick. All right. So now that you've got your stairs there, you just put your signs in water, and then you're ready for the next step. Alright, we are very, very close to finishing. All we have is this little spot, and that is it. So now, what we're going to have to do is dig out this middle part like I just did. And then, right there, so there's two blocks on the edges there. Put another stair thingy with the signs and the water. And yes, I know, water flows down. We'll fix that later. Oh god, like. Um... <laughs> So then we just put another one. And then I will show you how to fix that water issue. So now you should have something that looks just like this. All the water flow goes straight in except for these spots. But we will do that last after we do this little part. So now what you're going to do is kind of swim in. Put three signs on there. And lag. And then put three more signs on top of those signs, which is possible. It's a little difficult to aim it, though. It's probably going to be really difficult in survival, but yeah, that's that. And then you put some more on top of those. Not on top of, but on the side of. And once you put in this last sign, boom. No water leaks down. And of course, you got to wait for this giant pillar of water to leave. All right. Now, the last step for the water system is you're going to have to go over here to the edge of the water, put your stairs, your signs, and then your water. Oh, see, there's a problem right there. You probably have already done this, but if you accidentally place it there, just put a block, destroy it, and it's fixed. Um, that caused some backflow. I did it again. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's that for the edges, but for these over here which are slightly different you just gotta do the same exact thing on the edge of the water just put your signs and your water and your stairs and all that and then you are good alright once you've done that if you're in creative mode you should check to make sure everything's there by flying up like I am and as you can see every spot has water there and it all flows right to the middle so now that you've done that you've basically completed the water system so I congratulate you. Now, for one of the most annoying parts, you're going to have to put a roof on. And since it's at the block limit, nothing spawns on top, so you don't have to worry about torches or half slabs. But you're going to have to fill in this entire thing. So, yeah, the canals included. So, I'll see you guys when I'm done with that. Now that you've added a roof, which probably took uh, a good 10, 20 minutes, um, you're basically done. The trap is now built. And now there's only one thing left to do, and that is a collection pad, which is actually pretty important. So what I'm doing right now is just putting a little ring around so that the, the mobs are more controlled when they fall out of the machine. <clears throat> so just have it two to four blocks. I'm going to have it four blocks just to make sure that they don't fall anywhere I don't want them to. That's going to be it for the video, guys, so make sure to leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video. I put a lot of thought into this. Although I did stumble upon the concept by accident, I still did put a lot of thought. I mean, look, there's the village over there to get the zombies out of the way. That actually works, too. And if you want a tutorial for this, the actual building, there's really no need. I mean, to tell you the truth, the distance from this block right here down to here 
is exactly 22 blocks, not 23. Um, you can make it 23, but I just forgot to make it one block lower. But it still works because the skeleton arrow still kills them anyway. But uh, you could make it 23 blocks down because then you can make it into an XP farm. And it's still pretty effective because you can still punch underneath. And yeah, you get XP that way as well. So uh, yeah, one last thing is that I do have a Twitter and Facebook for this YouTube account so you can go check that out and ask me questions for more tutorials and things like that of course you can just go to the comments if you're lazy so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later